Hi everybody, this is Pam and today we are having some fun making three things from one envelope. That's right, three things from one envelope. And uh, this is a little challenge that I did on the Facebook group and you guys came up with some amazing ideas and I want to go ahead and give this a go myself. So I made this today and this is what I came up with. So let me give you a little tour of what's what's here. Okay, so first of all, the first thing is, yes, a pocket. I basically cut my envelope here and here, okay? So the bottom part, I made a pocket out of. There's the pocket. Okay, very simple, and I can just glue this pocket right onto a journal page, and I am ready to go. I just put a little uh, tag in here and decorated her up on the front with some cheesecloth and cotton and a leaf skeleton, some purplish stickles, and a, an applique that I got from AliExpress. Don't know the seller, but it's somewhere on AliExpress. You can buy appliques. And what else? Then, oh no, then I made a, what I'm calling this is a library card pocket. So, you know, these were sticked, it sticked, these were stuck in the back of library books and uh, the card went in here, the return, you know, uh, the one you got in trouble and you started accumulating a nickel a day. Oh, that used to scare me when I was little. Like, oh my God, I owe a nickel. I'm late. Get over there. So anyway, you can make a library card um, pocket for your journals and you can stick that down or you can make it a removable. And I made this one designed to be a removable because I put a little cutie poo on the back. Okay. And there's that little guy, very easy to make. And this guy I call the money wrap. And you remember, you remember when you have all those hundred dollar bills wrapped in a band uh, or the money band. How about that? The money band, just because it's a band, it's a band that goes around something. And the something I decided to put in here were, um, these some things are uh, writing paper, stationary papers. So they just slide in and out. You can remove them. The person can journal on them, um, but they can also slide them back in for storage. And you can clip this whole shebang right into onto a page in your journal, or you could glue uh, the back of this down so they could slide things in and out. So it's almost it's, it's like a belly band that's wrapped all the way around something. So it can house ephemera, it can house postcards, it could house photographs, it could house, um, you know, blank pages for somebody to write on, stationery, uh, ephemera, old ephemera, so a, a million ideas. So let's get to it. You want to make these little guys? They're lots of fun. And it, it only takes one envelope and a pile of other stuff, of course. Okay, so let's just move these aside. Whoops, stuck my finger in it. Yep, sure did. <laughs> Got the stickles on me. Wasn't dry yet again. That's just another day in the craft room for me. <laughs> stickles all over the place. Okay, moving number three over here in the safety zone. Okay, there we go. All right, and I just put this paper here so you could see the stuff. And here's my beautiful, messy craft cutting uh, mat, which uh, is well used, well loved, and um, um, that's just the way it is. Okay, so we have an envelope. And we're gonna do something to this envelope, so let's cut it. And I have a pair of scissors. Um, okay, I'll use these because I can't find the other ones right now. Uh, these are, you know, these very fancy Fiskar paper edgers. You can find these everywhere, and I find a lot of mine in the uh, the thrift stores. So uh, I heard you can sharpen them cutting uh, tin foil. Um, and uh, maybe that will be, if you get dull ones from the thrift store, that might help. But I'm just going to cut this into three sections. They don't have to be even sections. They can be odd shaped sections. Doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. And you could do a million and one things with an envelope, but this just happens to be three. If I just happen to actually cut it down this way, three very simple cuts. Okay. One two and three. So this one is going to be my bottom one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to with my art glitter glue or any glue, anything will work, uh, st stick glue, uh, glue stick or uh, uh, fabric fix, but this will work just fine. Okay. I'm just sealing that up because one, I, what I want to create is a very simple and basic pocket. And this is an age old classic design. Uh, anybody can make that. Um, and it's pretty easy. So let's just put, um, example back over here so you can see it. Okay. And uh, so now we're going to decorate it. So I'm just going to decorate this one in a different color because I already have a maroon one, but let's use some blue and 
Let's just go around and ink it up and we'll start and we'll get some ideas as we go. Now really, you're only limited by your imagination here, how you want to decorate your pocket, but you could do it any way you like. I, and it can be a removable pocket. So I don't, I'm going to glue mine in. So I don't really need to decorate the back. I'm just going to decorate the front. Okay. So we have that. And now I'm saying to myself, what can I do next? Well, I have this whole pile of, um, stencils. Why don't I use some stencils? Okay. All right. I'll use some stencils and let me pull this one out. Okay. Just for random grabs and, uh, stencils I usually get on eBay. I go to look for the lowest prices for, and usually you can get some really inexpensive ones. They usually come from China and they usually take forever, but I think the variety they have is just amazing. You can also get them on Etsy and you can even make your own. Okay. How was that looking? Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Now we're already fancy schmancy. Um, I would definitely keep a baby wipe close by at all crafting times because uh, for the, you just never know. You know what I mean? You got to have it for the, just, you just never knows. Okay. Am I in screen? Let me check. Yep. Okay. And maybe I'll do a little flourish over here as well. Okay. There we go. All right. Just for some counterbalance there, pop that over here. And now I happen to have these, this is some washi tape and I'm trying to use up some washi tape. Um, but this has cute little mushrooms on it. Um, I think I got this from Etsy somewhere and it's a little bit dry. Somebody mentioned you can put it in the microwave and, uh, that softens it up a bit. Oh, okay. That's not so dry underneath. Maybe it was the outside one that was really dry, but I think I'm going to run it through the old glue stick adherence, double check, double fail safe method. And these are, these look like stamps. Aren't they cool? They're already perforated and everything. So all you do is tear them off and a mushroom stamp washi tape. I, I imagine that's what you would look for. Um, oh, it's pretty sticky, but we'll just give a little extra on the corners. You know how the corners can sometimes, you know, have minds of their own. Well, okay. That should be enough. All right. So let's put this here as if it's okay. Let's make it look a little bit like a letter. That's kind of cute. And I could have gone around and edged, put the edges of that too. But you know, I think I'm going to, um, maybe I have a, if I can find it, maybe I can't find, oh, I can. I have a line stamp and maybe I'll just put some lines on the front as if it's supposed to look like a little postcard or a, um, envelope. And this one is by stamp abilities. If you're looking for that one, I, I don't know how old it is. I probably, oh, it says 2007. So it's probably an older one. I think I probably got it on eBay or from a friend or something like that, but definitely something to note. Um, or you just draw some lines. You don't really have to, you know, do this part. Uh, okay. So I'm going to try maybe these bottom three. Okay. Let's see how that works. Ready? Oh, it's going to go all over. I know it. Okay. So if I don't want it to go all over, I just need a piece of paper, anything, anything. Um, you know, in the land of paper, I can't find paper. Really? Really? Okay. Here's paper. Oh, I'm going to go that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go there. Now, where'd I put it? All right, here we go. Ready? Big attempting here. Oh, it's going to go everywhere. I know it. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Let me put some paper at the top too. Okay. We'll put paper there. We're masking. This is officially called masking. Okay. There we go. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to do it. Here we go. Did it. Okay. what do we get? Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. That kind of worked. All right. All right. Uh, okay. I thought that was pretty cool. So we have the front of this and I think that's really cute. And now we, you know, you can just stick whatever you like in it. Um, let me just find something quick here. I got something quick. And there you go. A stuffed little pocket all set to go to be glued down. Just adorbs, right? First thing done. Check. Okay. Let's carry on. Uh, let's do number two now. I know everybody's probably waiting for this one. Where is the original? Here it is. Okay. So here's the original. This is the, oh, I guess I, did I didn't really show it to you up close? Here's how I decorated it. I inked around the edges. I tore a piece of Edith Holden uh, flower there and I just pasted it on the side. I had it. It was a scrap sitting on my desk and there was, um, a little bit of her writing there, her printing. And I put that on there. And then I, this is one of these appliques from AliExpress. And this is a flat back pearl in a, I want to say, uh, 
like a, a beige color um, from AliExpress as well. Unknown seller. Okay. And then the back, I was going to do it so you could open and close it with this little tab, but it kept opening and opening and opening. So I just glued it down and now it's just a complete little tube. Okay. But it's easy to slide things in and out of because you just don't make it too tight when you tuck the things in. Okay. So let's make one of these now. We'll put you back over here out of harm's way and we'll put you in line of sight so you can see prototype. And what do we have to do? Well, let's go ahead and um, ink it up. So what colors are we going to do? Let's see. Let's see. The last one was brown. So maybe this one will how about we'll do a, a greeny brown. No, let's do a uh, pink one. Let's do a pink one. Okay. And uh, all right. Inking, ink it ink, dink it ink, going around the mountain, around the mountain. Now this one is for, for my purposes is going to be seen on the back. So I am going to ink the back as well. Okay. Now crafters choice. You can totally just glue this down and not ink that, but I'm going to ink it just because it's here and it's available and it's going to give a little more pop eye candy to the back. So it's going to look like that on the back closed. Okay. So now all we need to do is decorate it up because it's already looking kind of cutie cute. I guess I could have cut it straighter, but that doesn't happen in my world. All right. So let's just do a little collage. We're going to do the desk cleanup collage on this one. Okay, so this is just a scrap I found from some a book that I had on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just give this a little, is that? No, it's not black, it's brown. Um, little edging on this to make it pop a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to glue that down. Great way to use up scraps again. You can, you can clean your way out of your desk by making these things. Yeah, make a little, do a little project and grab what's on that desk, boy, because there's always plenty there. And uh, here we go. All right, now this paper is very fragile, so it's excellent to be used for uh, collage. All right, now that's going to hang over, but I don't care if it hangs over a bit, but maybe that's a little bit too much because it might, it might tear because um, it's very fragile. So we try that. All right. How about that? That looks actually kind of cool. All right. This is so fragile that I'm not going to drag it through the glue stick. I am going to come around like this and just put a little bit of art glitter glue, a wet white glue, very um, useful for things like this, uh, gluing paper to paper. And let's see, how do I want it? So I could put it like that, like that, like that. Well, let's just do it like that for fun. We're here. Okay, there we go. And we can just keep going. Let me just see what else I have here. I have other things. Hang on. Okay, I found a few things to play with here floating around on the desk. And this is something I used a paper punch for a while back. And I had a bunch of these. And I think I might like to put this across here, but I want to give it a little more emphasis first. So let me do that with the old Uline catalog box. And I'll pink it up a bit. Now remember if you have something that's a plain color and you want a little more pop, just use your uh, distress inks to run across and all of a sudden it's not plain anymore. It's pink. Okay. Or whatever color you like. And let's see, is that long enough? Yes, it is. Okay. So there, I have something that is pink now. And um, I'm just going to cut it off. I'll probably need to cut off a little more, but that's okay. And if you want to have extra emphasis, you can go around and just give it a little browning on the edges using the, uh, the multi coloring technique. Uh, just like as if it's a little bit of a worn piece of lace might have some aging on the edges type thing. And let me just figure out how wide this needs to be there. Okay. So we'll glue that. And I think I'd like to use a glue stick for this. All right. I'll just glue this down. Now I was bad with my glue stick. I left the cap off. And uh, if you do that, an easy trick because you're going to get like a little rubber stump at the top and you don't want that because you can't glue anything. But I literally I took these scissors and I cut it off just a thin sliver. So you could do it with a knife too, but I had the scissors handy and it came right off and I just threw it away and then I capped it up really fast and everything seems to be okay again. So if that happens to you, there you go. There's a little quickie trick out of that. And that's uh, very gluey. 
Okay, where am I in frame? Okay, I'm gonna put this down, leave a little space at the bottom. All right, there on the edge, coming across, coming across. Okay, did I, I need a little bit more glue here? Yep, a little more, a little shy on that one. Come back in for the save, coming in for the save. All right, there we go, that's enough. Okay, now, yeah, this is my, my money band. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Clipping, clipping, okay. Now, I think I'm just gonna darken that up a little because I darkened up the other side. So let me, well, let me darken that one up a little bit more too. Okay, there we go. Now we're all nice and emphasized. So let's take a peek what we have so far. Totally cute, could totally leave it as that, but we're gonna go just a smidge further. We've got time, okay. And uh, now I have, I found these out of my little applique box. You don't have to use this. You could make little bows or ribbons and things that would work. Um, take a look in your, uh, you know, your um, gift wrap bag, see what you've got. I could put that there. I could put it up here for contrast. Um, yeah, I kind of like it there. Let, let's stick it there. Okay, I'm, I'm recapping my glue stick. I want, it, I want you guys to holler at me if you see me not capping my, my glues, okay? That's your job. Um, and I'll do my best to listen. <laughs> but you know me, sometimes I get carried away and you know, goodness knows what can happen. All right, here we go. Hand tool, all right, and we're down. And now glitter glue will hold fabric uh, uh, very well to some degree, but if you need um, heavy, strong uh, fabric glue, uh, a flat a fabric to be glued, then you wanna use your Fabrifix, this one. Okay, just use that one if you need it to be super strong. This is not gonna carry any weight on it. It's gonna be just fine. All right, so I have this, and this is cute. This is actually a little Victorian um, a die cut, and it says, be my guide. I thought that was cute, and I thought maybe I'll just put that over here to counterbalance that guy. Not necessary, but I just have it here on the table, and I thought, well, might as well use it, right? When am I sitting here doing nothing with it? I might as well do something with it. Okay. So this grand piece of history will now become part of this art project. Here you go. You will be forevermore immortalized. I'm going to put you there. I guess you want to go right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so we can also do, we can, you know, stickle it up and all that, but I'll do that later because you know why? Because I'm still working with it and I don't want to muck it up. Okay, so let me grab some papers. Okay, I just got some random stationary papers like I did before. And uh, these I did pick up in thrift shops, and I believe this one I may have got on AliExpress, not sure where. And uh, okay, so now this is the top, this this is the top, this is the bottom, and it opens like this. So I wanna make sure that I'm, well, let's just fold this one in half. Am I on screen? I'm half on screen, okay. All right, let me just tilt this down just a smidge. Okay, there we go. All right, so this one fits fine. But now I want the bigger one behind it, so I'm gonna make a bigger one. Um, so I am going to fold you kind of almost as wide as this, but not quite. And that's me, he's not gonna be the same, he's not gonna be folded in half, he's gonna be folded to accommodate the space. And that way, oh, let me look, stick in there. Um, he can sit behind and look really cutie cute. Okay, so let's get all these little cutie cutes in place. And then, we will flip it over and we'll glue it down. All right. All right, gluing. Oh, I should put more, a little more on this end. Yeah, really should glue the top one. It's easier to get everything together. Okay, just make sure you're tight enough. You can always leave room for a little extra more. I mean, maybe you wanna put more in it, um, but I'm probably glued at this. Okay, let me just make it a little tighter. Okay, all right, there we go, okay. So we had that, and what was the other thing? Time check, yeah, we're good. Um, I put some flat back pearls on here, so let me go ahead and do that. They are right here, and these are kind of a tan color, but I have some that are white, and I think white might lend itself to this design better, and I have absolutely no idea where these came from. Uh, probably a grab bag from the thrift store. Good old Goodwill, they have those giant bags. Often those giant bags are good deals. You can't really see everything that's in them, so it's kind of a roll of the dice and you really don't know what you're getting, but you know, I've been more satisfied than unsatisfied with what I've received, but uh, that's just a personal call. <laughs> uh, can't guarantee uh, anything that will come out wonderful, but um, you know, it, it hasn't been bad. Uh, um, okay, 
and you know they have 50 percent off day and stuff like that put one of those there oh, come on come off the finger okay there we go and you're down and do we want some more sure let's put some more on why not we have them we need to use them right that's the mission this year use what you got use what you got okay so that's a giant mission isn't it? okay we should have a yearly mission use what you got um oh well that's a big commitment i don't know i don't know what do you think we'll see i'm not committing to that yet i mean yes i'm committing to use what i have but not necessarily not go shopping anymore i don't know about that <laughs> i can't quite commit to that one yet but i should i really should okay there who are we kidding i could i could use what i have forever here and never be done um do I want I feel like I want two more all right I'm just going to use the glue on the back here for time purposes but probably a good idea to uh, extra glue these down oh, it's got some schmutz on there um, that's what happens when you work with gluey fingers let me where's my little baby wipe okay that's why you always have this at the ready baby wipe at the ready okay um okay let's put another one of you down because now I got the glue wet on the back of the, the thingy let's see if it sticks yeah I guess we gotta put one more there balance right all about the balance okay that there okay am I, am I in line pretty not bad eh? maybe one more okay i heard you you need one more over there i heard it all the way over here okay there we go maybe one more there but we can play with that later so there we go isn't that cute so this is a money band holding little cutie ideas all right so that is idea number two from the same envelope okay okay Put those over there. You guys are done. Oh, who do you come from? Where'd you come from? I have no idea. I'll put you back there. Come on, stick. <laughs> All right. So, and here is our first one. And here is our first one. Little pockets we made. Very cute. All right? Okay. Put you over there. And now we're going to do our library pocket. Library card pocket. There we go. That's what it is. Out of an envelope as well. Now, so... This is basically what you're looking at. You're looking at this, okay? So what we need to do, because I cut, I cut this rigidy, I need to cut it straight. Drum roll, please. Um, actually, I don't really need to do this because of what I'm gonna do, but I'll, yeah, I do, okay, cut it. Straight goes the arrow, and we're hoping. Okay, not exactly straight. I'm gonna cut a little more off. All right, yeah. Could use my guillotine here, I guess, or the cutter, but... Um, it's just I want you guys to be able to see the process, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay. Um, all right, so we have this, and now we need to get this to look like this. So we're just going to eyeball it. Who are you? Nobody invited you. Go away. Um, okay. We're going to eyeball it, and we're just going to cut a little bit of an angle. And then we're going to, whoop, not yet, not yet, Pam. We're going to now swerve at the top. So it kind of looks like the other side, as if we planned it all along. Um, who will know? No one. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to see this little gipper over here. This little gipper happens to be in this envelope, might not be in all of them, but I am just going to remove him because he looks like, oops, he doesn't belong. Um, now I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to tire it. So, oh, okay, we got it. All right, so now it looks the same on both sides. Okay, so next we're going to grab some washi tape. And who doesn't want to use up their flamingo washi tape? I do. Okay, so I like the color of this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some washi tape down either side. And you can extra glue the washi tape because you don't trust it and it might come off and it very well might. So you might want to go ahead and extra glue it. But I am going to just go for it uh, for time purposes here. And I'm going to lay that down. Uh-huh. Try and lay down washi tape. That's that's an act. Um, okay. I'm going to place it. Place it at the top of where this, that little connection happens because it's open here. So I'm sealing that side closed with the washi tape. I'm adding decor simultaneously while I'm securing the side. How amazing is that? All right. And then you can just flip it over and leave it like that for now. Okay, then we want to put a piece on this side. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, get my piece. And remember, if you have uh, upside to your washi tape, you want to make sure that your designs are going the same way. All right, do it the halfway. Oh, too short. 
go. Okay. Yep. All right, close enough. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. And then we're just going to fold it over, give it a nice little crisp edge. Okay. And we're having our little library pocket come into form here. And then we're just going to nip off these little pups. Nip. Nip. Are we still in? Okay. And then we're going to, no, we didn't put any on the bottom, but we are going to go right to rounding the bottom. So I'm just going to use this crocodile, what is it? A crocodile corner chomper. Can you see that? Crocodile corner chomper. There is a link below for this if you're looking for this gizmo. Um, very handy, especially if you're, if you're corner chomping thicker things. You could use a regular corner chomper. I think it would go through washi tape and an envelope very easily on its own. But if you have thicker things, you might want to consider that. Um, okay, so now we have rounded edges at the top and the bottom. So that's looking a little bit more like a library pocket, uh, card pocket. Yep. And um, so now we just decorate. So we can have fun decorating here. Let's bring in our Uline catalog. Just as, This is just any old catalog that I can color and glue on and, and it's all fun. Okay, so what color would we like to glue upon today? How about, well, that's got a little bit of green in it. How about we do some green? There's the green. All right. And let me, just moistening my green with a little bit of water. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but it does work. Distress Oxide Forest Moss Green. Seems to work better when I wet it a little bit. Get more green going here. I think I had a, well, let's just see. Maybe, do I want to, maybe I want to do a stencil. Yeah, let's do one of these again. It's right here. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're right here. And we're stenciling. And we're stenciling. These stencils come in so handy when you're trying to cover white spaces. Isn't that pretty? That's just so pretty, right? Okay, let's turn the page because there's all that and we don't want that on what we're working on. So now we're like this and everything's good again. So now we're just doing the edges like doing the edges. I'm not too worried about the tape there. That doesn't bother me. I mean, the sticky part for the envelope, but if you want to cover that with something, feel free. These are yours to create as you like. Okay, so we have that, and maybe I'll do a little bit at the bottom because we have some of that there. And then what do we have on the back? Okay, we have that. So let's go around and just complete the mission. Completing the mission, very easy. Time check. 27. Okay, I have about three minutes. Okay, and do to do, do. Finishing that, finishing that. I'll just go around the whole thing. Just give it a little so it's cohesive, cohesiveness. Okay, so we have that, and now I've blotched there, so I got to do something about that. So um, I guess the easiest thing would again be washi tape, but I want to use something different, so let me go find something different. Hold on. Okay, I found this really, really pretty Edith Holden page. So I thought these flowers might look really nice on here. So let me just do some quick tear. And oh, and look at that little bee. Isn't he cute? He is so cute. All right, let's just get all that and see where we go. I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. Try and get the whole flower pram. And you can always take less later. Okay, so I have bee and this. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Doesn't help me at all with that there, but oh, I love that little bee. Okay, but I think you're going to have to become separate little bee. All right. Oh, look at moon pink, moon daisies, pink and white clover. Um, love it. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, there. Okay, it doesn't quite cover that up, so let's do something. Let's do something in there to cover that area. What do I got? What do I got? I got everything. There's tons of stuff here. Grab something, Pam. Okay, what do I got? Oh, I got this. This I was working on, and I could just put this strip right there. Yeah, why not? Okay, let me do that. Does that look too weird? Maybe. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I found this strip of cotton that I tore from a tea towel the other day. So let me just cut a piece of this. And I'm just going to stick it here, but maybe I want to color it up a bit. Let's see. Maybe we make it more greeny like the rest of it. All right, and we'll pull some threads off it. Make it look kind of harried. It's been through, you know, some exciting times in life. And we'll just glue it down right here. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, 29. Got to go. All right, let's do it. No must, no fuss. Uh, I might have to 33, so I might have three extra minutes. Okay. Let's just glue this down. All right. 
and we can trim the edges or we can just uh, fray them. You want to just fray them. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we have that and I'd like to put this here somewhere. Is that upside down? Which way do these go now? This way, I think. Okay, so I think I can put that here and let me just go ahead and ink that up around the edges with some brown. Okay, not a whole lot on here, but it's just enough to create a little pop. That's all you need sometimes in life is a little pop. <laughs> we used to call soda pop back where I came from. Down here, it's all soda. I'm like soda? What's soda? Okay, uh, I figured it out after being here for uh, over 20 years now. I'm well, probably over 30 years now. Look what grief I'm old. <laughs> Time flew. <laughs> what happened? Um, okay. Uh, let's just put that like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have that. And now we can put a little tuck in there or something really cute. Where'd that bee go? All right, let's grab that bee. He was really cute. I think it's a bee. I think we have time. All right, if I inadvertently leave you in the process, I hope you had a great time. I love spending time with you. Check me out on Facebook, podcast, Facebook group, interest, interest, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and the like. And uh, I'm here hanging out, making stuff. I hope you come and join me and make stuff too. It's always a good time traf- crafting and uh, it's always time well spent. Okay, where do you want to stick you? Here? Okay, there you go. You'll just be busy, busy as a bee doing your thing. Could do more to this one, but we'll just leave it as is because we're getting down. But let's put our comparisons here so you can see what we made. We have these just back up a little bit and we have these and then we have what don't touch the stickles okay these so there you go folks i hope you like these these were a lot of fun from one envelope there's a million one things you can do with envelopes and i'm very excited to see uh what you guys made with the challenge so take care everyone happy crafting have an awesome day make sure you get your injection of fun and i'll be talking to you soon take care bye bye